Recently, we visited Memphis, Tennessee. We really struggled with choosing a hotel for this vacation. Many of the reviews we read mentioned that the downtown area could be a dangerous location. We definitely wanted a safe hotel with safe parking. After extensive research, we decided on the Comfort Inn Memphis downtown. It was a good decision. We felt both comfortable and safe at our hotel. You'll find Comfort Inn downtown conveniently located near the Bass Pro Shop Pyramid and downtown offices and attractions. The modern hotel overlooks the Mississippi River and is designed around offering a comfortable and amenity-rich experience for both business and leisure guests. Now let's take you inside and show you what our room looks like. We're going to be staying in room 105. Hello everyone, welcome to Comfort Inn and Suites in downtown Memphis, Tennessee. You heard Carly, we're in downtown Memphis. This is our rooms on the left hand side as soon as you walk in. There is a closet area with a full size ironing board, iron, extra uh, bedding materials for your sofa bed, and also some clothes hangers. They have a luggage rack. This is what the room looks like. We have a king size bed. Also it has a couple chairs with a little table. Behind that door will be the bathroom area. It has a sink, microwave, a coffee maker, your refrigerator. This is the bathroom. Your commode, your sink area, ice bucket. Also it does have a hair dryer, plenty of towels. This is the tub. You'll notice the jet, so this is a jacuzzi tub. It does have a shower head, so if you want to stand up and take a shower, you are able to do that. Right here, we have a little bench seating area you, with a couple drawers you can put some items in. There's your TV, some drawer space to put some items in. It has a desk with a chair, a table, and the sofa. And the room is a fairly large size room. Everything looks to be clean. Well, we've showed you the room. Everything looks nice. There's only one thing left to do. I guess it's time for a bed check. It's a sweet bed check. What do you think? Awesome. Our heat in the room was not working properly, so we contacted the front desk. They sent a guy from maintenance on Sunday evening to come by and look at it. And I don't think he was gonna be able to do anything, so they brought us this little portable heater to use. So this is what we're using for heat. And hopefully they'll get it straight. Hopefully they'll get it straight today. Well, last night I heat did not work. So on Sunday, they moved us to a different room because it's gonna take a while for the part to come in. So they put us in 10-01. We're on the 10th floor now, so we're gonna have a good view. But we walked in, looked at the room. The room was a little bit different than what we had. This is actually a smaller size room because in the other room, we had a couple of chairs with a table that you could set in front of the TV and watch it. But we still got the king size bed, the pull out sofa, and here is the TV mounted on the wall. You got your refrigerator, microwave, your desk. But on this room, we've got a, a, a whole lot nicer view. This is a view looking out of the hotel window. You can see the Mississippi River. And back off to the right, you see just a little bit of the Bass Pro Shops. And that is a place that we'll definitely be going to. And the bathroom, we had a jacuzzi tub in the last room, but this one's just your normal bathtub with the shower. 
but at least we have some heat now that works. Still, it's not a bad room. Everything looks nice and clean. And I do enjoy the view we got. What do you think of the bridge, Cindy? Oh, it is beautiful. I love that you can see it from the hotel room. And from our room, we were able to enjoy the biggest nightly light show on the Mississippi River. The light show is presented at the top of each hour, in the middle of each hour, after sundown, until the 10.30 p.m. finale. Well, let's show you what all they have to offer for breakfast. You got you some boiled eggs, yogurts, and then you have your bread and bagels, and some muffins. And as you come around, this is where you can toast your bread. And here you have your bacon, some potatoes, and sausage. Your scrambled eggs, some gravy. They had some biscuits, but they're mm -hmm. getting ready to put some more out. And then you have your cereals, like corn flakes, raisin bran, Cheerios, some fresh fruit, your coffee, and this is your juice station. And this area right here, you'll notice they have the waffle irons, so you can make you some fresh waffles. In closing, we recommend staying at the Comfort Inn Memphis downtown. We were pleased with the cleanliness and comfort of our room. There was an issue with the heat in the first room that we were assigned to. We were given another room and the staff did an amazing job handling the issue. We were even given a discount on our room. One of our concerns when we were looking at rooms for our Memphis trip was parking. We didn't want our vehicle broken into or damaged. This hotel has a parking garage and our vehicle was safe. Overall, it was a very good experience and we would definitely stay here again when in Memphis. Folks, we hope that y'all enjoyed this video of the Comfort Inn Memphis downtown. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Also, if you hadn't done so already, please subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell. That way you can keep up with all the latest and greatest adventures from the VA Fund Seekers. We thank y'all so much for watching, and God bless.